Hello collective. Welcome to today's video. I was going to say the date, the day, but I don't know. It's a Sunday, December. I'm going through my bag to see what we're going to talk about. I'm pulling three cards. In my bag, there's random uh, discs that I have written on, different messages and it has just been created over time. Um, started out as a little bag and now it's like a Mary Poppins bag. Love it. So what we're starting out with, people are naturally drawn to my energy. I take action with peaceful faith and the people in my world are of union inclusivity. <clears throat> There's something about how you're finding peace with the community around you, with your friends, with family, with neighbors, coworkers, the different parts in your life that you have to contribute outside of you, those people are going to be a lot more inclusive. They're gonna be a lot more of union with your divine self. There's something about taking it easy when it comes to these interactions with people. Um, where you're just more so basing off of what you know now instead of previously what was the common pattern that you would be like performing when it comes to interacting with people. There's something about how you're no longer defensive when it comes to feeling this need to stand up for yourself. You're feeling as though you have it's like it never goes away. This confidence inside yourself isn't going away. This is this confidence is allowing yourself to feel that luxuriousness, appreciating your life, realizing and there is a there's a I was going to say a fly. There's a plane flying over me. So this is like something where kind of like you're taking off with this, this attitude of gratitude if you will. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're starting to really see the value when it comes to the gratitude. Um, and I'm hearing appreciation that you can give forth to other people, allowing other people to feel just a little bit uplifted. Um, yeah, there's something about how you can really encourage other people where they don't receive it a lot from really outside people or even, or even themselves. I am getting that you are like a role model when it comes to um, presenting to others who they want to be. Like you are someone's idol. You're someone's kind of like, <laughs> I'm getting secret crush, but not really. Like it's a, a crush of like, I want to be that person sort of thing, not like a romantic crush, but more of a, yeah, like an idol, a hero. We have, what is this? The Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands. So there is something about how, kind of like going with that idea that when you meet someone now, thinking more that they are, idolizing you, not putting you on a pedestal, but making sure that you're not in a defensive mindset when they approach you. Um, something about being mindful also so that you don't set yourself up for kind of like being a defensive interaction, allowing yourself to set boundaries when it comes to new interactions is what I'm getting for the collective to really help balance out and really, yeah, more than anything, balance out the way that you um, interact, the way that you respond to certain things, the way that you don't respond to certain things. There's something about how also you're learning how to separate from what no longer you want, what is not needed. The Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm just getting that, like you're realizing 
the more simple balance that you can do right now. And you're realizing that within the simple balance, that's where the complexity gets to, goes to. Um, there's something about how before there was a lot of different distractions for yourself when it comes to what you really want. Like what is the purpose of your journey right now? And I'm getting that you're starting to simplify, you're starting to let go, and it's allowing you to see your path so much more clearly. Okay. I might, oh, I don't, I don't know. I just thought about getting like a, I love the Oracle quote decks. I have a Louise Hay one, but I have to get out. I don't know, I don't know, y'all. Uh, the Five of Cups, the Six, nope, the Seven of Swords, and Wheel of Fortune. So this, you're starting to walk away and make different choices based off of previously the Five of Cups. Areas where you could not let it go, like you held grudges, resentment, anger, totally fine. You can let that go and you won't have to feel resentment, anger, so on and so forth. So you're realizing along the way that it is a lot easier to let go of these emotional attachments to past situations that left you feeling like the five cups. Like you can't even enjoy your life anymore because what fell over was so catastrophic that your the life's the emotion of enjoyment has started to dissipate and you started to tune out and lose kind of control. I kind of want to see where you were when this happened, what was going on for you. The Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So you are going through one of life's beautiful lessons where you needed to understand um, what really fills you with this emotional enjoyment, emotional fulfillment. You are kind of detoxing a lot of outside influence that was pushing your emotional body this way and that way. Um, and I'm real, like I'm getting that you have realized that there's been this holdup of your manifestations, your dreams because of it. So it's like, you're the mustard seed. I keep hearing about mustard seed, okay? You're a mustard seed, you're a seed. And whatever your intention is, whatever is going on in your mind within you is how your outside garden, how the rest will go. So making sure that when it comes to noticing if you start to feel angry, frustrated, like you're holding a grudge, making sure to tune in and have those boundaries um, within you set so that you can let them go and allow yourself to flow with ease. I'm hearing with ease. We have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles together. This is giving me, you are breaking headway or you're like, uh, how did breaking off into a new direction when it comes to specifically feeling as though it's you're you're in like a I call it the hesitation contemplation mind trap that you can get into because it's all within you that's causing you to hold up so these thoughts these emotions these opinions need to be looked at and when they do, they're gonna realize you're gonna realize where you're really putting yourself into the nine of swords. This it's an overload. I get it. Like I have so many gem I not many Gemini traits, but two major, two major. And um it's it's intense when your mind is unbalanced when it comes to your emotions and regulating them. Um, and also your thoughts as well. Your emotions and thoughts are very linked when it comes to where your focus of your mind is, where your thoughts are. Allowing yourself to truly breathe is going to be important as well. 
we have the hermit on its side and then we have also death on its side so these two cards death and hermit once you're able to more than anything release this is it the nine did i say yeah nine of swords once you release or find a way to and it's i'm hearing it might not be all at once that you release it but it's going to be um when you can dedicate daily to like a minute of releasing and breathing literally or 30 seconds um something where it doesn't feel like a chore once you get into that you're going to start to see exactly what you have wanted to make headway on you're going to start to see that fruition to come into the physical reality of your reality so when you get to that place this is what's going to happen you're going to go through some type of transformation on the inside where you're getting clarification about who you are. I'm getting specifically your purpose, your mission, um, the reason why things were so difficult for you. There's something about how you hold some kind of like golden ticket within you that would help not only you, it would help your local community and communities around the world, I'm hearing. So right now, focusing on rest instead of action, um, we're going to go within, right? So when it comes to taking action, if you want to move, move within. Journal, journal prompts, shadow work, uh, guided meditations, getting used to what your energy is, I'm hearing is going to be very helpful. Um, specifically when it comes to your emotional body, getting in tune with that is going to be really helpful, especially if you feel like you are feeling off in the emotional sense. You can understand more and more the more you know about your own emotional body and your own energy. It's so cool when you can like feel out your own energy and identify it like that. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for you. I want to go through the bag really fast, do a past, present, future, see where you're at. Past, we're going to do a present and we're going to do a future. Okay, so your past, I am so beautiful, healthy, and wealthy. Discovering that prosperity inside of you. The present, whatever you want, you can have. You are the ultimate <laughs> doer dyer. No, just kidding. But you're the ultimate golden ticket, like for Willy Wonka. You get to go into that chocolate factory. It is yours. <laughs> I have so many unconditional loving and accepting people in my life. And you know what? First and foremost, it starts with yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to unconditionally accept yourself to find other people outside of you like that it's so beautiful find it within yourself and my goodness it will show up at your front door just like that all right i'll see you later thanks for watching